Hello everybody and welcome back to Nancy Drew Message in a Haunted Mansion. So last time we attended a little seance, we met Lewis and then at the end we just snooped through Lewis's laptop in the basement. So we're gonna go back to like regular time where everybody's awake because we're done being sneaky sneaks for tonight. Okay, I'm going to turn my volume up like extra loud on this next part so that you can like hear this haunting. Like I want to make sure you hear this because it's so freaking scary. So let me turn this up. I see you. So hopefully you heard that, but it was like a ghostly whisper saying I see you. Not exactly reassuring. I'm done with this mansion. It's taking me so long to get to my room. Oh. I feel like that was me today because I just did my last final and it was like 7.30 in the morning. I can turn it down again. Sorry, now I can't find like the perfect volume because I felt like last video was too quiet. Sometimes I get it too loud. Like what is that perfect medium? I'm gonna sleep until nine. I always like do reasonable times. I'm like, you know, I would wake up at nine. Morning, Nancy. Okay, that was nice. Oh my gosh, my dog is gonna wanna play with me. He has been interrupting my videos lately. It's like he has to be the center of attention. Oh, yep, let me throw this little thing for him. Um, okay, so Rose wanted us to take care of this rotten tiles, so we're gonna take our little paint scraper and start chipping away. What is this? It looks like a secret attic. But guess what? We have a key! And it works! So we are going to explore this secret attic. I'll give you a nice little 360 here. Because I don't know, I like some of the scenery of the game, so maybe you do too. So we have a mysterious storybook, and it's literally just a mysterious story that we don't really need. It's just about a treasure, which is a common theme in this game. So guess what? It guess works. what? Here's a treasure. Um, so we're going to have to find another key for that desk. Crowbar. Nice. We could use that for the little... What the heck is it called? The thing... The grate. The grate at the bottom of the fireplace that we want to get into. And then this is by far one of the hardest handwritings I've ever had to read in a game. So for the most part I would like skip this part. But... I don't even think I can sum it up because it's so hard to read. I can't even pick out like words, but I think it's a journal from Lizzie Applegate and she's talking about hiring this man who made puzzle boxes. She's like, I think she talked about like making a building like a puzzle box and you know, Lizzie Applegate does have ties and take this little iron because we can golden gate gazette. And look over here, another tile for the fireplace. So let's get out of here so we can find that key. Oh snap, we are trapped. Just kidding, we have a crowbar. We're gonna use that to open the door instead. And here you thought that we were trapped. Don't even worry about it. Let's talk to Abby. Maybe we can expose her. I hope you're convinced now that the spirits are with us. These ghosts are here to stay. I found out how you rigged a seance table with a projector. <laughs> that was a pretty good show you gave. Busted. Okay, so I staged part of the seance. But that still doesn't mean this place isn't haunted. Seances were very popular during the Victorian era, and I plan to entertain our guests with them. It'll be a great way to promote the place. Okay. So we're going to pretty much accuse her of creating the accidents. Have you been creating these accidents to help your promotion? Of course not! I've had nothing to do with these accidents. They cost us both time and money. If you want to find out who's behind the accidents, ask our resident handyman. Oh, looks like she's pinning the blame Can on somebody Charlie? else. Ugh, it's 
clear to me that Charlie's totally responsible for the accident. Who else could it have been? He's a really nice kid, but he has no idea what he's doing. Unfortunately, Rose doesn't want to fire him. And there's something suspicious about him. What do you mean? The other day, I was down in the basement working for over an hour, and suddenly he sneaks up on me. I bet he was down there the whole time, watching me. Creeper. Do you know much about Lewis? It must be great having your own expert on Victorians. He owns Chandler Interiors, a very reputable antique store. I'm sure his clients will be quite interested in our bed and breakfast once they hear about our resident ghost. She is weirdly obsessed with the ghost, which is just suspicious to me. Let's ask if she was that crying in the hallway. I heard someone crying in the hallway. Is that you? I told you the spirits were interested in you. Was it a woman crying? Yes, it was. How did you know? It must be one of our phantom residents. All right, I'm done with her. She's crazy. Bright <laughs> blessing. Oh, thanks. All right, so to get that key for the desk, we have to go back to our room. And then look over here at this little, what? I don't know what part of the bed this is called, like the poster or something. You're going to take the screwdriver and get that little cap off. And look at that. There's a key hidden in there. Sneaky. So we are going to go back up to the secret basement. Attic. I keep, I don't know how many times I've called it a basement. So if I've said basement, it's definitely an attic. <laughs> Alright, back up to the desk and use that key. Sweet! And here we have a picture of Lizzie Applegate proving that she is tied to this mansion. And then a piece of music. But there's some odd little, like, some notes are darkened. There's something hidden here. Yes, there is. So there's B, E, G, A, G. So... Oh no, maybe we'll have to play that on the piano, see what happens. Here we have a cast list of the bandit's treasure. And a letter. Oh my gosh, her handwriting is so hard to read. Why would they do this? So she's just talking about an employee. Oh no, this is him. This is the guy. Sorry, that was never Lizzie Applegate's journal. It was E. Valdez. So, interesting. And then we have another Chinese character for beginning. Yes, somebody's trying to teach himself Chinese. See, Nancy recognizes it. Oh, no, she doesn't. She's just like, get it on your own time. Thanks, Nancy. Okay, now we're gonna get out of here. Oh, or we're gonna back up and stay here forever. Okay, so let's talk to Rose because I'm pre oh. No thanks. Don't like the ghost. So anyways, what I was saying before we got rudely haunted is we're going to talk to Rose because I think she would like the discovery we made. Coming in. I'm all finished, but you should know what I found. I'm sure it's very interesting, but unless it's really important, I've got other things to worry about. Thanks, Rose. Let's see. If you're any good at fixing things, there's a dumb waiter in the hallway that's not working. Oh, sweet. Let's ask how she found Charlie and listen to how concerned Nancy sounds when she says this. How did you find Charlie? <laughs> I don't know why, but it's so funny to me how like desperate she sounds. I were in the basement talking about hiring someone to help us. 20 minutes later, the doorbell rang and there stood Charlie, looking for work. Charlie just seems like odd to me. Might just be me. How do you know Lewis? She sounds so normal asking about everybody else. He seemed awfully curious about our property. But he's an antique dealer specializing in the Victorian period. He's been extremely helpful advising us on authentic decals. Ooh. Where did Abby find those papers that are in the parlor? She told me they were in her room, which surprised me since it was completely empty when we moved in. Now the room you're staying in was crammed with furniture. I think most of it was original with the house. 
Ooh, so if there's any clues, would be in our room. Have you heard of someone named Lizzie Applegate? No, I haven't. Oh, thanks. That was helpful. Just kidding. She, she can't help her knowledge. She was a drama coach back in River Heights, and we worked on a couple of plays together. My bid on this house was too low, so she pitched in her savings to help me get the place. If it weren't for Abby, I couldn't have afforded this place. Well, go Abby. Okay, we're I done with Rose. Lizzie. I'll let you go. Thanks for your help. Oh, do you know what? I forgot to come back to Rose's place, or Rose's little corner to snoop so we'll have to do that um who do we want to talk to actually let's fix the dumbwaiter so you're gonna pull up the dumbwaiter a little thing take the iron this isn't really fixing it this is just making it convenient for us to see what's on it i feel like dumbwaiters would be so cool to have in your house like it's like a little mini elevator ride but then if it broke like this one then you'd kind of be trapped in the walls so here we have another tile for the fireplace the last one and another chinese symbol when the eye of the phoenix is in your hand so that is the chinese symbol for i all right um i'm gonna talk to abby again i just have one more question that i want to ask her i just love talking to her because she's not weird at all hi nancy what's up I saw those papers in the parlor. Where did you find them? Right in my room. They're so vintage. Mm. I'm going to ask Lewis. Hey, that, isn't that what I said? For them. Rose and I can use the letters in our historical display. Is there anything about the house in them? I don't think so. I really didn't go through them that much. How observant of you. I did find this old picture of a woman dressed in men's clothing. I think it was taken in the entryway by the staircase. I sent it to a photographer to have it restored. That was not useful information. Was there anything else in the photograph that was odd? I don't remember anything else. Okay. I'll ask her about the Keep poem because it is kind of weird. Oh, I love that poem. Listen, my child, to this story of dreams. How does the rest go? It was there when we bought the place. Hmm. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Bright blessing. So the poem is important if it originally came with the house. So since Lewis is not going to be in the library until noon, we can at least check out the fireplace and what happens with the tiles. See what it unlocks. So there's the one I put there off screen because my... What Cam Studio is being weird. And then we'll attach the rest of the tiles. Ooh, I just heard something click. So we'll pull this little angry, pissed off looking bird thing. And a secret passageway. Yes! Gosh, I wish this was, I wish Nancy Drew was like in real life where you could just find secret passages wherever you go. So there is the Chinese symbol for child. Listen, my child, to this story of dreams. Tie it back to that first line. We're gonna take this lantern for future use. And a little exposed brick. Oh my goodness. This is perfect for our snooping selves. Hmm. Lewis is up to something. I knew it. Let me just say I knew it. I'll be right there. Um, Lewis, what the heck? He's hiding something in his great case. Well, I want to see what he's hiding in his briefcase because what in the world? But guess what? I'm going to end the video right here because I'm mean. So, next video, we are going to look in Lewis's briefcase, see what in the world he is hiding. Maybe that'll give us a clue as to his character. I don't know. Maybe he's being shady and up to something. We'll find out in the next video. Thank you for watching.